recent flu outbreak started, uh, I did start supplementing with it just as a precautionary, precautionary measures. All right, thymus and beta four. So these, these, when you really think about immune function, you really want to think uh, thymus and alpha one. As far as thymus and beta four, this is really working more on the regenerative part. But you, you got to think when bad stuff comes in and wrecks everything, you need it to be, you need it to repair. And thymus works in, in both of those areas. Um, the, the thymus and beta four increases the T and the B cells. Again, these are white blood cells. This is, this is your body's immune system. Um, and thymus and beta, it's in every cell of your body. And it especially gets upregulated anytime that there's some form of tissue or neuro, uh, neuro, neurological damage. So really, again, it's a repair mechanism. Um, it helps increase stem cells, increases angiogenesis. So you get new, fresh blood full of good stuff to help heal the area. And it helps decrease inflammation. So downstream decreases IL-8 and TNF-alpha. That's going to decrease inflammation. Increasing uh, IL-18 interferon gamma, which is going to boost the immune system. I don't even know. I, I don't know if I can say boost. Some people were like, saw some YouTube videos, people complaining about you can't even use the word boost because it's not medical or whatever. But, but you get what I'm saying. All right. Dose wise, 750 mics. You want to do that subcutaneous. Uh, you can do that up for 20 days to the three month mark. Similar to what I was talking about with the thymus and alpha one. I like to play it conservative on the safe side anytime you're tinkering with the immune system but it seems like it's super, super safe. And a lot of the clinical trials, the dosages were, were way higher than that. Um, so again, when I'm thinking kind of immune function, I'm going to pair this with the thymus and alpha one. And anytime I'm thinking more repair, I'm actually going to couple this with the BPC-157. So when you're thinking like shoulder injury repair, uh, and the thymus and beta F4 has actually been used a lot for like hair regrowth and basically skin regeneration. And again, it has a super low side effect profile. All right, BPC-157. Dr. Mo, you've talked about this one a lot. This is the, this is the one that helps heal the gut lining, right? Yep, BPC-157, it's, it's found in the gut lining. But what does that have to do with immune function?